here we have a MacBook. Let's figure out what's wrong with this MacBook. It says that it doesn't power on. Let's open up this MacBook and see what's going on with it. Show me where they touched you, MacBook. Who hurt you? All right. So time to figure out why it is that this will not turn on. So this is drawing a consistent 200 milliamps, but it's not turning on. 200 milliamps is much higher than what we Norse used to getting when it's not turning on. Over 150 milliamps and not turning on is usually one of two things. Behind door number one, our issue is that PPBush G3 hot is short-circuited, which we're going to check for right now. Let's just get Paul Daniels' multimeter software on the screen. And it's not. We have 8.6 volts. And the second likelihood is that we're not making an SO state. So let's get the board out of the case. So the next thing that we're going to do is try and figure out why it is we're getting 200 milliamps rather than what we're supposed to be getting. So let's take a look at the board underneath our microscope. Let's see if the microscope can help me solve my problem. A lot of the times all you got to do is take a look at the board. They have a really interesting pube there. Just knock that off the board. SMC area looks fine. ISL area looks fine, which we expected since it does get 8.6 volts on our PP bus. All says power good area looks fine. That I was not expecting. I was expecting there to be some sort of corrosion or something over here, since that is what key would keep us from getting CPU V core in an SO state. Aha! Look at that. That's something I don't think I would have spotted easily. Wonder what that is. Hmm. What are you for? This is a 1.05 volt PCH switch. This is going to send out PP1VO5 SOSW PCH something something, which, tra which this is going to power the platform controller hub section of my CPU, which is similar to like a north bridge and a south bridge, which you're going to need in order for this to power on and work. So I'm not just going to assume that that capacitor has an issue with it. I'm probably just going to replace the switch as well. We will soon, Paul Daniels, we will soon. Never, the tech. Never. And scrape away the junk. We don't want to solder on top of junk. We want to scrape away the junk and have the junk flow onto this ball of my solder that's on my iron. And my iron would be filled with junk, but then that's fine because we just put it in the Hacko F99B tip cleaning station. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Scrape, scrape, scrape. <laughs> Ruffle copter. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Scrape, scrape, scrape. 
Ruffle copter. Ruffle copter. All right, let's see if there's anything else around this board. See if we get any change and how this thing works. As you can see, we now have a fan spin. And the reason we have a fan spin on this board is because we fixed our issue with the PCH not getting power. There was corrosion on this chip, 1.05 volt PCH Hisio switch. And since we didn't have the hissio switch, the PCH threw a hissy fit and didn't turn on. And that is why this MacBook didn't work, but now it's working because it's not able to throw a hissy fit since we have the hissio switch on. And that's it for today in this board, and as always, I hope you learned something. With that, we're going to be moving on to the next MacBook. Do you have a MacBook that needs to be fixed? We fix MacBooks. Come by our store at 186 First Avenue, located in Manhattan, open 12 to 8 on the weekday, 12 to 4 on the weekends, if you have a MacBook that needs to be fixed. Do you live outside New York City? No problem. Head over to our website and click on the Outside New York mailbox icon or go to sendyourmacbook.com. That's sendyourmacbook.com to be redirected to the mail and repair instructions page on our website and a form that will tell you how to send your MacBook in. At rossmangroup.com, we offer Mac laptop repair, logic board repairs, clean room data recovery on hard drives, iPhone and iPad data recovery after hard drops or liquid damage, and liquid spill damage repairs on MacBooks. Check us out on Google where you'll find amazing reviews spanning the past 10 years of our being in business. Whether it's on Google, Yelp, or other platforms, people love the service that we provided for them, and we're more than happy to provide that level of service. You can also check us out on YouTube, where over the past 600 repair videos, we showcase exactly how we do the job we do and show you that we are actually capable of doing it. Unlike many websites that brag about their infinite number of certifications while using photos from stockphoto.com, where they hold a soldering iron from the hot end, we take pride in the work that we do, and we take pride in doing it here, not outsourcing it. Thank you for your business, thank you for watching, and as always, I hope you learned something.